And let's just also put up, Mariam, another graphic we have, which just gives you an idea of who out of the political parties have been targeted the most. And let's, let's go through those numbers now. And this is virtually every political party in India, uh, non-BJP party, has a case against it. Congress, Mariam, is leading the pack, not surprisingly. Exactly. Uh, like you said, virtually everybody from the Abdullahs and Muftis in Jammu and Kashmir to MK Stalin's family and others of the DMK in Tamil Nadu, virtually every political party in the opposition yeah. is on our list. And at the top of that list yeah. is Congress yes. with uh, 75 of their members targeted, including an IT notice to the Congre Congress party itself. Right. Now, this could be by virtue of being the largest opposition party. Uh, but next on the list is the other most vocal opposition right now in India, the TMC. 36 of their members were targeted, including investigations by the Enforcement Directorate, CBI and the IT Department into funds okay. received by the party. So you've got Congress 75, TMC 36, Aam Aadmi Party 18, NC National Conference 14, PDP 12, TDP 12. DMK 11, NCP 8 cases, RJD 8 cases, BJD, BSP, JDS, Shiv Sena, SP, Independence, YSRCP, CPIM, AIA, DMK, IUML. So, uh, you know, and the list goes on and on. If one goes all the way down, the Akalis, AMMK, Raijor, Party of Assam, Jana Sena. So, it really is going down to almost every single political party. And Mariam, now let's, what we've done is we've kind of visualized a gallery of all those that have been targeted by the BJP or under the BJP's watch by central agencies. And this is now all the politicians that are coming up on the screen. These are, these are by the way, not even perhaps, Mariam, all of them. Exactly, Vasu. This is just a sampling of the politicians that have been targeted. There are far more. There are, in fact, 257 politicians to be exact that have been targeted by the Modi government. This is just a sample of that. Right. But just looking at that, let's stay with that for a second, because just looking at that, you get a sense of the scale of the numbers of those who have been targeted. You'll see, obviously, familiar faces there, which includes Congress leaders like Sonia Gandhi, like Rahul Gandhi, who face charges. Sharad Pawar is there. Mayawati is there. But then you have also a whole host of other political leaders, uh, perhaps some of whom are not that prominent. But again, it gives you the size and the scope. And Mariam, let's now look at the others who've also been targeted, which, as you mentioned, includes journalists, it includes activists, it includes bureaucrats, it also includes even film stars who've asked or raised uncomfortable questions uh, like Tapsi Pannu and so on. Exactly, Vasu. So this, again, is not a complete list of everybody uh, who has been targeted. There are many more, but this is just a sample. You can see you have Amnesty there, you have uh, News Minute, Quint, media organizations like News Click, etc. Then Baskar. you have activists like the climate activist Disha Ravi is on there. We have student activists like uh, Kanaya Kumar, who, who was a student leader then, Shaila Rashid and others, and other activists like Sudha Bardwaj, etc., these are just a sample of the type of uh, leaders and activists that they've gone, to, uh, against, gone up against, including some of the farm leaders that were in talks with the government about calling a truce. They were also targeted in the list. Right. And of course, also scores of those in uh, Jammu and Kashmir who were picked up uh, during the, you know, the post the abrogation of pre the, and post the abrogation of Article 370 were picked up. Uh, the other question uh, which you looked at, Mariam, is Again, to the argument that the government makes that this is not political, this is just, you know, the law taking its own course, was that the timing of these raids, which indicates that there may be a political color. Exactly, Vasu. There is a pattern and there is a design. If we look at Tamil Nadu, in 2021, right before the state was going to polls, you saw multiple DMK leaders being targeted, including tax raids on MK Stalin's daughter and son-in-law just four days before the state polls. Hmm. In West Bengal, again, before the 2021 state polls, agency action was taken against at least 14 TMC politicians, relatives and associates. This was before and during the state polls of 2021. Hmm. In Rajasthan, during the 2020 political crisis, when Sachin Pilot was attempting a coup of sorts, we saw action against at least six Congress politicians in AIDS, including the questioning of Ashok Gehlot's son, 
brother and OSV. Mm. In Karnataka, in 2019, in the run-up to the Lok Sabha elections and also uh, the political crisis that the government of the time was facing and the government eventually collapsed in July 2019, at that time, at least 14 JDS and Congress politicians, relatives and associates were targeted. Hmm. In Gujarat, ahead of the Rajya Sabha elections uh, in uh, 2017, tax rates happened on the Karnataka resort where Congress's 42 MLAs were being sheltered. That's right, by uh, Congress uh, leader DK uh, Shivkumar. So a staggering uh, catalogue there, uh, Mariam, fantastic work indeed.